And now to developing news on the investigation into Donald Trump's assassination attempt. As News 15's Brian Yenis shows us, new video is surfacing as authorities try to piece together a timeline for the shooting. Exclusive new video showing another angle of the chaos that unfolded after the shots rang out at former President Trump's rally in Pennsylvania on Saturday. It shows a police car ramming a fence, apparently in an attempt to gain access to the building the shooter Thomas Matthew Crooks was on top of. The FBI now focusing on Crooks' movements leading up to the attack. He went to a shooting range the day before the rally, where he practiced firing. The morning of the shooting, he bought 50 rounds of ammo from a local gun shop and a ladder from Home Depot. Fox News has learned Crook's parents were calling law enforcement the day of the rally, worried and looking for their son. Even though the shooter is dead, there are answers that, need, that still remain. Is, was there any support? Was he consuming hate speech? Were there any witting or unwitting co-conspirators? I don't think that there are, but we still have a long way to go in this investigation. Government sources have told Fox News about a possible Iranian plot to assassinate the former president that stemmed from his 2020 order to take out an Iranian general. Meanwhile, Americans shaken after watching a former president escape an assassination by inches have flooded gun stores to make purchases. Business significantly picked up Sunday morning, all day Sunday. We've seen a 40 to 50 percent increase in business nearly overnight. The shooter's parents are cooperating with authorities as the FBI tries to determine a motive for the attack. In New York, Brian Yenis, News 15.